Shalom from the National Council of Young Israel here at our headquarters in Paramus, New Jersey. We are happy to launch our newest program under the guidance of our new board of directors called Four Minutes of Torah. Each and every week, you'll be introduced to a new Rav within the Young Israel movement who will share with you words of Torah. With that very happy introduction, let us begin. In this week's Parsha Nasa, the 12 princes of the 12 tribes of Israel brought gifts for the Mishkan, the traveling temple in the desert. The verse in Perak Zion, Pasuk Gimel, chapter 7, verse 3, says, Agala al Shnei Hanisi'im. Every two princes shared one wagon for the gifts. Strange. Based on the value of the gold, silver, animals, and other gifts, it seemed the all could afford an individual wagon. Why did they share? Was this some sort of ancient carpool system? Sforno writes that this sharing was an oath, a sign. Shatishre shechina b'nechem. The shechina, the radiating feeling of Hashem's presence on earth, was palpably felt by those present. In Tam Vedat, Rav Moshe Sternbach explains that in every generation, whenever Jewish leaders unite for holy reasons, we all merit to feel this sensation of godliness in our world. We too, despite our differences, political, social, or otherwise, have to put our feelings and ideas aside at times for the sake of Hashem. In 1913, Rav Cook and Rav Yosef Chaim Sonnenfeld toured the settlements, the Moshevot of Israel, the largest of which was Zichron Yaakov. They put aside their many significant disagreements in an attempt to inspire the pioneers there to keep the agricultural mitzvot of the land, kashrut, and shabbat. It behooves us all, leaders and congregants, especially now in a time leading up to Shemitah year in Israel, to join together despite our differences, to support the Jews in Israel and around the world struggling with financial worries and their many antecedents and repercussions. In this achdut, in this unity, we too will merit to glory in the radiance of Hashem's Shekhinah. Have a Shabbat Shalom.